According to the United Nations and the World Health Organization, over 200,000 people die every year and over 1 million are intoxicated due to the abuse of agrochemicals. My generation of scientists is then facing a big challenge. We need to develop new strategies for sustainable agriculture. During my stay in France, we pioneered the identification and characterization of long non coding RNAs in plants. RNA is the intermediate molecule between DNA and proteins, and this is why we call it messenger RNA, because it contains the message from the genome to proteins. However, during the last decade, we learned that there are many RNAs that do not code for proteins, and that's why we call them long non-coding RNAs. And we've learned how some of these long non-coding RNAs are involved in the three-dimensional organization of genetic information in the nucleus of the cells. Our approach consists of combining bioinformatics, plant physiology, and molecular biology. This way, we will understand how plants adapt to the environment, and in this context, we can identify functional long non-coding RNAs that are involved in this response of the plant. Similarly to what has been developed for vaccines against the coronavirus during the pandemics, we can use RNAs as exogenous molecules to communicate with plants. We can adapt the plant to the environment in the context of global warming, or we can show the plant a fragment of the genome of a pathogen and this way we can replace synthetic pesticides by solutions based on RNAs. As a result, we can secure food production, we can respect the environment, and we can take care of human health. Last year, we launched a startup company from our research lab to transform all our science into technology for sustainable agriculture. We are currently developing new products based on RNAs to replace synthetic pesticides for vegetable crops. My wish is to create new links between fundamental research in our labs and real agriculture. In this way, we will be able to transform all our science into new products for the sake of humanity. I am really happy to share this award together with my lab in Argentina, my colleagues in Argentina and also in France. And especially, I want to share it with Martin Crespi, who was a very special mentor in my career. Our research set the basis not only for agriculture, but also for healthcare and for potentially many other industries. I really want to thank UNESCO and Alpha Sun Foundation for the creation of this amazing award that is promoting young scientists across the world. This is crucial for our future.